Hello and welcome back to another one of my Sims videos. My My Sims videos. On the last episode we explored the desert and invited Liberty to move in. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Liberty. But here are some more Sims and here is Pirate Jin. Oh, Captain Ginny. Interesting. Can I invite Ginny to move in? Let me talk to these other people. Who is this Pompadour looking guy? This is Bean. This is Odin Revolution. He's quite cool. Now the limitation is we can only we can only invite one sim at a time to move in. But like I said, if you invite one sim back to the hotel, they usually come along with four or five other people. In this instance, Liberty came with Captain Ginny, so we can just use Liberty, if she doesn't mind, and have her be the reason we move Captain Ginny in. And then if we want Liberty to move in at a later time, we can just invite her back. So this guy here, Trevor, oh Trevor, Trevor is one of the sims that you can get a trophy of in the sims 4, so I wouldn't mind moving Trevor in. Okay, I might try and move Trevor in actually. No, not Odin. Trevor. Right. Okay. Too many things. We need to do. So let us go back to the desert and build Trevor a house. To be quite honest, I might do that off camera because I can tend to take a while building a house. Let me show you some of the houses that I've built for new residents. I moved in three sims into the forest. We moved in Madam Zoe, Professor Nova, and Jenny. Just some random girl called Jenny. But Jenny is also another trophy from The Sims 4. So here is Professor Nova's observatory, and here is Professor Nova's alien friend. Now... I'm trying to think 
if I've built anything for Professor Nova yet. No, I haven't. But she does have this toilet, which is the first toilet we've seen. And it has this nice little privacy wall around it. But we'll be coming back to Professor Nova later when we build a, um... Whatever she wanted us to build out of pencils. Pencils and light wood. I would imagine it's a bookshelf. Let us stop off at the sushi place because I completed this camera and gave the place a karaoke machine. So we built uh, this hot tub as well, and this bathtub. Um, but the karaoke machine is something that I'm very proud of. I would love to build one from my house in some spare time. The thing about the Mycins is, there isn't really a reason to build anything for yourself. Like, it doesn't count towards expanding the town. Unlike when you build for other sims. So here are two. I give Master Aaron two dummies to practice Sim Fu on. So this one here, kind of like a Minotaur looking dude. And this one here, which I wanted to make look like. Poppy. Um, so if Poppy comes in and asks, just say it's a coincidence. Okay, here's. We have some more things for Master Aaron. Master Aaron. do we have for Master Aaron? We have a training dummy. Now this area is getting quite crowded, so I'm going to place this training dummy away from everybody. This one is a bit green, so it, it goes quite well in his, it can be his personal training dummy. There is nothing more I have to teach you, Tom. You are welcome to practice in my dojo whenever you wish. Master Aaron has given you a kickboxing glove decorative. Great for practicing the Phoenix Claw combo. So 
so that is Shirley and Master Aaron we've completed tasks for now and as you can see we're very nearly almost at five stars Hi Poppy, um, just ig ignore that, ignore that. So if we go down this path and take a shot, ignore that for a second, take a shortcut here, now this is where Jenny lives, Jenny's house I quite like, it has like this fake front entrance, if you go around to the back is the real entrance. Jenny's just a townie. Nothing really special. All this furniture came with Jenny's place. Again, Jenny has a phone. I'd like a phone at my place. Jenny has a great bed. Jenny also has a toilet. But that's Jenny's house. Very uninteresting. Not at all like her next door neighbour, Madame Zoe. Madame Zoe. Ooh, let me tell you. I had a time building Madame Zoe's fortress. See, she lives next to this cave. So I wanted to protect her. <laughs> so I built this giant wall around her house. Now, Madame Zoe is a fortune teller, so it's very spooky. I really am happy with how Madame Zoe's house turned out. It took me ages to figure out how I wanted it, but it was honestly worth it. So, for Madame Zoe, I built this mirror. Made out of skeletons and fish bones. I built this table made out of eyeballs and snakes. And then there's a chair in the background that was made out of snake skin. Now, I have something to give Madame Zoe which is a sarcophagus. Um, I guess we'll put it on the back wall here. This sarcophagus is made out of black apples and ghost essence. Long ago, Madame Zoe foretold that this bookshelf blueprint would enter your possession, and so it has come to pass. <laughs> so you see, we got no fireworks, so that means we still have more items to build for Madame Zoe. Me. Sure. 
Oh, motion controls, why do you screw me over so? No! God's sakes, I just want to be done. Oh my god, 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 click done, click done, click done. Oh my god, I hate motion controls. So let's have a peek at, peek at this uh, sarcophagus, shall we? Madam Zoe, would you like me to build anything else? Anyone? I would love Madam Zoe's skull and crossbones in my hair. Okay, she needs a fortune crystal with 30 eyeballs and 25 ghosts. Now we've built the eyeball trees. We haven't planted any more ghost trees, so I might plant some ghost trees nearby because there is a plot of land which is better. But I really like the way Madame Zoe's place looks at night time. Okay, so... Up here, we can plant some ghost trees. So I've planted three ghost trees which should give us about 15 ghosts at a time once they are fully grown. So we'll check back in on them in a moment but first let's um, unlock this area. Ooh. 
What are these? Rooks. Some chess pieces. So we've got some pawns. And... Some more pawns. So just rook some pawns. That's all. So this entire area was locked off for these two essences. Was it worth it? I guess we can build a chess table using only three parts. I'm pretty sure this is all there is. Yeah. Um... Let's go check on those trees. Ooh, we already have some ghosts. So, I said we should get 15 back. 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10... Good enough. And then honestly, you, you can immediately water them again. Oh look, there's 14. There's 15, there's 16, so... We've got an abundance of ghosts. How many did we need for the task? We needed 25. That's more than enough.
and leave you all on your own to sky people away. So let's head over to Goth Boy's place. We have something to drop off for Goth Boy. Goth boy conveniently lives here. No, this is Ray. Where does Goth boy live? Goth boy lives near DJ Candy. So since the last time we were here, we gave Goth Boy a bathtub. Goth boy wanted a pipe organ. This is very grand. Not entirely sure where I'm gonna put it. I guess on this back wall here. Oh dear, 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 dear. Let the mournful voice of this organ harmonize with the wailing of my soul, O oh darkness, O oh despair. I think it's quite a cheerful looking pipe organ. <gasps> I finally have all I need, Tom. Go help him with the tortured spirit. Gothboy has given you a suit of armor decorative. Too bad it can't shield you from emotional damage. Okay, so this um, pipe organ, it required pumpkin and another essence, but I decided to embellish it with some knights that we got from episode 2, if you remember. Let me just show you this. I think we might have actually reached level 5 in this episode. Because it's taking a long time to load. Congratulations, Pleasant View has reached star level 5. <laughs> the residents have decided to throw a party in your honour. Now even more sins will want to move here. Oh, that's it! We, 
We finished the game. We, we've no more reason to play yet. <laughs> no. We have to move in Trevor. We have to move in so many more people. Like Trevor and Captain Ginny. And Makato. <laughs> anyway, thank you to all these people involved. These are all my friends. Honestly, I'd love for them to make another My Sims game. Just make this in HD. I mean, honestly, EA, Maxis, they need to do something because Animal Crossing has become one of the most popular games on the Nintendo Switch. And in the three years that it's been out, Maxis have put nothing from The Sims on any Nintendo device, not a DS, not a 3DS, not a Switch. We don't have Sims 4, we don't have My Sims, we don't have anything. They need to do something because clearly people want to play this type of game this is very very microscopic compared to the scope of animal crossing but if they could just take this game and give it an online where you can visit other people's towns they might get sued i don't know but if they don't um then they can um They'd have an audience. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We might be back with another episode checking in on residents like Professor Nova, Madam Zoe, we've still got to build some things for them. And we've got to fill in all the empty houses. There are like, we can move in eight or nine more sims. Rod Humble. I know Rod Humble. Rod Humble visited you in The Sims 2 and gave you a computer. Documentation, writing, and editing. Could have done with a bit more uh, proofreading. <laughs> Special thanks to all of these people. Oh, the Latonos.
copyright 1994. Good luck. Nineteen ninety seven. Oh, it was made with habit. Star level up. Congratulations, your town has reached star level five. Mayor Rosalind has authorized you to use the Pleasant View Monument in recognition of all you've done for the town. The residents have all pitched in to create the ultimate blueprint. This is it. You've hit the big time. They built a monument after me. Do I have to build it myself? Um, I forgot what we were doing. We were going to, I think that was it, wasn't it? Oh, we we're going to check in on Goth. No, no, that's what we did already. Yeah, so we've got to build Trevor a house, build Professor Nova. Professor Nova wants a book shelf with 15 pencils and. We've got to build Madame Zoe a thing. So let me go to my um, workshop. We can create a new item. Now, have we given, been given a blueprint? There's the fortune crystal. Town monument. This is a um, very, very involved. So I will be building this off camera. So, catch up with me sometime in the distant future, depending on how lockdown goes, I might be playing a lot more of this. But until then, so sorry.